called a sim. Oh, okay. You gotta go to work. What state are you work wise? Whoa! Okay, probably not gonna get promoted today, but at least you got the skills to do so. Oh dear, the hugs are getting their own language now. Good grief. Uh, you were my dream date bouquet. Get rid of that. There we go. Right, apply for scholarships. Congratulations, Tiara. You qualify for the Sim City Scholars Grant. If you maintain your excellent grades, then you will get a grant of 1,000 simoleons towards your next semester in college. Is that it? That's it. Okay. Looks like we're going to need to work on some stuff with him. Uh, right, he wants to go to college quite badly, actually, doesn't he? Right, so yeah, we want you to find yourself a job. Let's see what we can do. Let's have a look at your skills. So you've got Charisma, Body and Logic. So something that utilises those would be good. Oh, considering where you live, Miss Fujimoto, if you do to find yourself a cow on the high street, it would be severely lost and most likely run over in a couple of minutes anyway. Oh, incidentally, we will be finding out very soon if I'm going to get throttled from uh, my ISP with my new uh, my new package. And I will be very annoyed if I do. All right, you're off to work. Yep. Uh, job hunting. Okay, entertainment career. Look again. Slacker career. Look again. Don't see him as a slacker. Journalism career? Hmm. Do that one. Take job. Yeah, that's pretty good. So let's see, what requirements do we have for you? You already have them, but why do you actually study creativity a little bit? Study creativity. Because you can't study creativity like that. Okay. Um, what should we do with you? Uh, what should we do with you? Actually, we should actually get a few points of creativity. That's going to help you with a few potential careers. So perhaps we should go and purchase something creative. Uh, don't particularly want to make him a painter, but yeah, as I thought, that's the only thing we can afford. So let's do that. We will stick that. There, it's the only place we can stick it. So you get some painting done, practice painting, there we go. Um, when are you going to work? 3 p.m. You're going to work very soon, actually. But, uh, when you've done that, actually, you do your homework. You've already got the point you need. Uh, sitting around there in your underwear with a strange man's in the house. Okay. So what are you going to make us? Tiara, what are you going to make us? And so far, I'm not impressed. Okay, when you're done with that, water and harvest simoleons.
His squad broke again. Yay! At this point, creativity, he needs to get promotion. Do some stuff with you. So, uh, right. Okay. So, have lunch. Uh, have a grilled cheese sandwich. There you go. That'll make you feel better. And use the potty. There we go. These guys are going to be going to work soon. Oh, you know, you work tomorrow. Okay. Wow, you made a mess making that, didn't you? Alright, answer the phone when you're done, please. And you, when you're done with that, let's get you clean and up down here. Great, you phoned up to chat just as we're going to work. Yay! Oh, and that's horrible when that happens, isn't it? Alright, okay, so. Let's stop your painting for now. Answer the phone. Clean up. Clean. There we go. Let's try. No, I don't want an arts and crafts magazine. Okay. So you think of that. Let's bring this in. Bring it. Uh... No. Don't want you reading it, really. Harvest simoleons. Addy is caddying for Malcolm Landgrab, head of Landgrab Enterprises who's just hit his second shot into the rough about 65 yards from the green. The business tycoon leans over and asks Addy whether he should use a nine iron or a wedge. Addy de debates on how to respond. I don't know, or whatever. So what do you guys think? I don't know, or whatever. How do you make a full beacon in Minecraft? Well, while we're voting, I'll tell you, okay? First of all, you need to make the beacon, which you need a nether star, three obsidian, and five glass. And then you need to make a pyramid of metals or diamond. So it's iron, gold, or diamond. And you need to, to make a full beacon. You need um, you need to put the, the beacon on top of a... What is it? A three by... Uh, yeah, three by three, and then you put that on top of a five by five. You put that on top of a seven by seven, and I think you've got to put one more. Um, so you basically you've got to make a pyramid with the the beacon at the top. Okay, so what we got? We've got whatevers. So let's use a whatever. Landgrab pulls out the nine iron, and Addy begrudgingly follows him to his ball. Mid backswing, the sky turns dark. There is a blinding flash, followed by a thunderous crash. Addy is thrown to the ground, and it looks like Landgrab has been struck by lightning. Addy shrugs, lays the man's golf bag next to him, and heads back to the clubhouse for a corn dog. Duncan has it. Ooh, promotion! Duncan has been promoted to underwater demolitionist. 
What could be more fun than blowing stuff up? Blowing stuff up underwater is what? You did the diving for ancient treasures, now it's time to set the charges and literally blow them out of the water. So, bit of money there. Okay, we're getting a, a bit of cash now. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yes. So he needs mechanical and body to get... Uh, and still, he's got enough friends. So, what state are you in? Okay, I think it's time for you to celebrate. Let's find yourself a woman. Call. No, not service. That's the wrong sort of woman. Call. Ask out on dates. There we go. Boom. You go. Okay. Water. Harvest simoleons. Somebody's having a little dance. Why not? And have lunch. Make yourself a lunch meat sandwich. There you go. Yep, that's what I meant. Wrong sort of girls. Okay, so... Samantha Otimus. Let's invite her. You can't help someone without a phone. Grr. Save. We're giving her a phone. And while I'm at it, I think I'm going to put in a few vending machines around town as well, so these guys can get the uh, the phones and the gaming consoles they want. Okay, so neighborhood. Samantha Osmer City lives downtown, if I remember right. Or oh, does she not live anywhere at all just yet? Let's see if she's... Uh... Uh, it might have been some people I just installed. Uh, free time... Downtown user, there we go. If, if they're anywhere, they're here. If they're not, I shall add them. So let's just have a quick look. Sorry about the loading screens. Take care, Pasta. Thanks for coming along. Fat Frog. I just poked myself in the eye with a plastic six, says Fat Frog. That is impressive. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I personally am very, very mature. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at the people that are living here. And the answer is nobody is living here. So they must actually be in this area. Newson, let's see. Okay, so Larson Geek. Goody, Gabigan, Newson, Cook, Picasso, Travela, Ramaswamy, Optimus. Oh, good lord, there's 150,000 of them. How much money have they got? They can afford to live here. So, where should we put them? Um. Let's put them in that one. Yes. Well, I'm 43 and I feel no, no strong urge to act any older than 12. I don't see any reason whatsoever why I should. She have a moustache? I think Granny has a moustache there. Fairly certain as she does. Right, so 
I said, well, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to go in here long enough to give them a phone and I'm going to back out. Because, quite frankly, I don't need to do more than that. And then we'll see how we go. Dum de dum de dum. Da 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 da. You guys, there's a lot of children there. Right, does Granny actually have a moustache? No, just looked like it in the uh, the picture. So, right, have a phone. Right, out of here, neighbourhood. Oh, hello, Mike. How are you doing? Okay. Down, Melody. Da you can't have the toddler. Leave the toddler alone. Okay, and while I'm here, I'm going to pop into one or two of these... These are uh, the downtown shopping districts. Um, FM, Rodney's Hideout, the corner shop, the hub, cold issue clothing, Cook to the Night, Midnight Flows, Sugar Cute Bowling, Lulu Lounge, Pure. Where's the electronic superstore? We not have one, Lulu Lounge, the hub. No, okay, we don't. I thought we had an electronic superstore in here. But let's not spend too long. And it's cold issue clothing. We'll uh, install stuff there because that seems to be the shop we go to a lot. Enter a lot. And what we'll do is we shall add uh, a couple of vending machines there. Well, I'm very glad to hear that, Haley Round, and, you know, I'm really glad that the, our little community can do that, can cheer you up. It's always a good thing for me. I should imagine it's a good thing for you as well, but, uh... There you go. Okay, right. Cold issue... Oh, it's... Oh, we're diff we didn't go to cold issue clothing. Right, there's a vending machine. Okay, we now know we can go there. So let's straight back to the neighborhood. No need to save. Hey, <laughs> Miss Fuji. Uh, I hope you're getting your moto attached. Hi, Kando. Have a little stretch. Let's get back to playing with the family, shall we? 